This is code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries, the physical computing unit, and I'm on the lesson Arrays and Color LEDs. Light Patterns. This app already has one light pattern program, which can be activated by clicking a button. Notice that we put this pattern into a function to make the code cleaner and clearer. Let's test it out. Oh, and if I do this, red, green, blue. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, cool. Okay. Um, create a light pattern function of your own. Maybe the colors of your favorite holiday, college sports team, or try to create an image with the lights. That would be fancy. After you've created your function, add a button and event handler so that you can switch between the two light patterns. Okay. Huh. All right. Let's give this a shot, and this is connected to the next lesson. Ah, oh, I see what they're doing here. Okay. Oh, and they control the intensity. Okay. So, we could use a loop for this, I think, but I'll take their lead here, and I'm going to right-click. Oh, I mean, I'm going to do Control-C, so I should hit this, because ours will be similar, and then Control-V. And now for the colors. So I'm going to do my university colors, which is the University of Washington, UW. Um, and that is purple and gold, although I wonder how well gold's going to show up. So purple, gold, and then the colors. Um, I actually have their red, green, blue values. So I'm going to use, oh, do they not have, I don't see it. Fine. I'm going to type it in anyways. R, G, V, and then 51 for red, zero and 111 it should be. Let me close this and just, is it gonna, hmm. Don't think it likes that. Testing it out. Definitely not. Okay. Get this back to red, green. I think, let me try it not in quotes. That's looking better. Let's see. Okay. I think that will work now. So that is the purple. I'm going to do show text because I'm just going to copy and paste these colors so that it should be at my purple. Okay. And then I'm going to do the gold color. I'm not sure how that's going to show up on lights, but, and the gold color, oop, need to get rid of that, is a bit different. One, six, two. Okay. And so now I'm just going to do control C for copy and I'm going to every other one of these. So zero, one, so at two then, it's going to be this, and then at four. Okay, now for the quote unquote gold. Okay, so I think that's the colors. Great. Now we need to call the function purple and gold. See how they call red, green, blue here? What I have to do first though is create a button. I'm just going to duplicate theirs. And then I'm actually going to paste in that color that I still have ready to go. Gold. Text will read purple, gold. Okay. And I'm going to, cool. And then I'm going to call this button purple BTN. All right, now let's go back to our code. And on the event that the ID, remember, purple BTN for me, is clicked, what do I want to have happen? Well, I want this function, purple gold, to run. So function, we got to call it. And this is where the, we ask the computer, hey, look around for something called purple gold. And it goes, uh, uh what? and finds it, and then it runs all the code inside, hits the bottom, and then if we add other code here, it would keep running. Let's give it a shot. 
Okay, so that still works. Not exactly. So I'm just going to real quick switch this out, I guess, for purple. We tried. So all the purples now are just going to be purple instead of RG. And I guess all the odd numbered ones in the array, lights in the array will be yellow, which is pretty close. I was a bit too ambitious. All right, let's see how that looks. Round two. Run. Green. Purple and yellow. <laughs> Kind of my school colors. Mm, what's going on with... This light over here I'm having technical difficulties with. Is it too low? Oh. Oh, is it... Reset, run. Reset, run. No technical difficulties, just too dim. Awesome. All right. We did it. Let's keep going.